G'day guys, how the hell are ya? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video on Kynan A. Now in this video today, I'm going to be attempting to flatten, package and ship Funko Pops for a signing. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so the free Funko Pops I'll be working with today is Chucky, who I'm hoping to get signed by Brad Dorof. Jason Voorhees, who I'm hoping to get signed by Kane Hodder. And Jaguar, who I'm planning to get signed by Danny Trejo. So guys, these are pretty much getting shipped to the US so I can get them signed and sent back to me because of course I'm not in the US, so I can't get them signed. So a buddy of mine who I met on Facebook is helping me get this done. Shout out to you, man. Thank you. As for the materials I'll be using, obviously Funko Pops, a couple of 11 by 14 protectors, or top loaders as you like to call them. Mine are a little bit fucked because I've had them shipped multiple times. Some sticky tape, a pen, a couple of different colored sticky notes, a big old cardboard box, which I'll be using for, you know, protection. And you can't forget the nursing scissors. Let me turn you guys around so we can get started. All right, guys, so I'm behind the camera currently. So obviously our first step is to remove these Funko Pops nursing scissors. All right, cool. so I'm going to start by turning the Funko Pop over. See this little groove right here? I'm going to attempt to insert it just like that. And I don't know how well you can see this. But all I'm going to do is pop very slowly, very carefully until we get that. So now the Funko Pop tab is in pretty good condition so it looks like it hasn't been opened. Obviously the next step is to remove the plastic insert along with the figure. And just like that we have an empty box. So there Jason is right there. There's his empty box. So all I need to do now is do the other two and then I'll get on to the next step. So all right guys, so all you can see currently in front of you is a bunch of empty Funko Pop boxes. Let's get to the folding. So I'm not gonna lie, kinda nervous about this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this shover in there, do the exact same thing again. This box was a little bit damaged when I bought it, so it's not the end of the world if the box isn't in crazy good condition. But as you can see, you can pretty much see right through that, pun intended. But yeah, let's fold this thing. So what we're gonna do, Open her up, push this tab all the way in so it's touching the window. We're then going to, I guess, attempt to fold it like that and then chuck the lid in there, I suppose, if it's going to work for me. I haven't really done this before, so I don't know how the frick it's going to work, but this is what I've heard to do, so, and I think. That's our first box done. All right, we're gonna take Chucky. We're gonna do the exact same thing again. Please don't break. So it's a bit tricky to do. Pretty easy way to destroy your Funko Pops at the same time, but fuck it. It's open. You didn't see that bit. Gonna push it in. Grab the top, throw the top in, push them together, try and get them to sit professionally, and there we go. We have another Funko Pop box. All right, and Jason, please don't bloody bugger me up this time. Okay, well that didn't really work either. We're gonna try and push the tab in here. We're gonna put this in here. Gonna put this in here. 
So now it's flat, kind of. Then we're gonna push this in here like that. All right guys, so next up we've got a couple of these 11 by 14 um, protectors. So what we're gonna do is try and get these guys inside of here for better protecting. I'm gonna only try and use one, but if I can't get them all in there, obviously I have a second one to do that with. So we're gonna start by opening this up. Looks kind of dirty, but that's just like sticker tape residue. I promise it's it's not shit. I hope not anyway. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and slip Jaguar in there. And there he is. He's in there. I don't think I'm gonna fit two of these, three of these guys in here, so I'm glad I got another one. There goes Jason. I guess under there we'll do. And there's two. And of course this little shit who didn't want to work for me the freaking first time. And I open this up. We're gonna chuck this in here. Well, at least try to. This is hard to film and do this at the same time. All right, and there's Chucky. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got all of our pops inside of these sleeves. So the next part is to write on some sticky notes. All right, so for this part, we're gonna do Jaguar first. I've got two different colored sticky notes. So you might ask, why in the hell are you gonna do that? So I'm gonna put any quotes that I want on one, probably this one, and my the guy's name on this one so he knows whose is whose, and if I want a character name or whatever, but you know, this is, this is a sticky note. All right, so you're gonna, Laugh at my writing because I'm a really, really, really messy at it. But what we're going to start by doing is putting Jaguar. Jaguar. All right. So then next we're going to put the personalization, I suppose. Please write... to Kynan. Jaguar, please write to Kynan. Right there. And since Jason doesn't have very many noteworthy sort of quotes, we're just gonna put Jason. Jason. Jason, please write to Kynan. Stick her up, and these two are done. Now with Chucky, I'm actually gonna ask Brad, well, I'm gonna get the guy to try and get Brad Dorif to do me a quote, which is what these ones come in for. So obviously, Chucky, Chucky, Please write to Kynan, which you've seen. We'll stick that one on there. And then on this little yellow one, if I can find the right damn way up, we're going to write... Hi. I'm Chucky. Well, that went fucking went to shit. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? So we're gonna put that at the bottom. Hopefully he can sign that to me. So now the next step is some cardboard. All right guys, so the next part of this, you're gonna need a box. So this is what we're working with. See this top right here? We're gonna try and put that on top of it to see if it would fit. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room around there. So we're gonna use both sizes of these to actually flatten these Funko Pops. This is where the nursing scissors come into play. Can be back to year three sort of arts and crafts shit.
the circulation off to my finger. All right, well, there's one flap. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's one flap. This was originally a Funko box, so I mean, it's getting reused for the purpose it was created for. I don't know what the hell I just said. I'm gonna do this for the other side, and I'll see you back in a second. All right, well guys, I didn't imagine that you wanted me to spend half the video cutting bloody cardboard, so I did the liberty of cutting the other one, as well as this bottom piece, which I assume would be pretty good padding for the center. All right, so we're gonna start by grabbing this. We're gonna grab some of this bloody tape here, and we're gonna tape the end of this closed. I just dropped the fucking tape. Lastly, we'll do this little corner here. All right, well, that's that all ta taped up, so let's do um, the bottom of it. So guys, this will be our first layering of cardboard. As you can see, I've just taken this and put it right down there. So we're gonna try and find the center of it. We're gonna grab our tape. And what we're gonna do is just tape one end like so. Try and push that down a little bit. Then we're gonna grab a little bit more and put it just on the end here. Whoever I'm sending this to is gonna have fun opening this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna um, attempt to find the end of the tape. Then we're gonna, it broke. We'll boil this little bit here. Then we'll, um, yeah, I guess we'll attempt to find the tape again. Five minutes later. Found the end of the tape. Let's um, do this side. Are you freaking kidding me? A few moments later. All right, guys, so I think I finally got the stupid thing of a freaking tape. All right, so what we're gonna do we're going to tape this side down. Fun. Border down there. So as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit flat. So the best thing to do is make it more flat. And finally this side. Flat, but I mean, better than nothing, I guess. I'm gonna grab this um, little centerpiece here. As you can see, it's too long, so we're just gonna go and grab this bit. All right, we're gonna grab this little bit, gonna put it on there, and it's too long again. I put this here, and just to give those Funko Pops a little bit more protection, we're gonna, you guessed it, tape the other bloody side. Oh shit. Hey guys, guess what? I lost the end again. Two hours later. So we're going to take old Chucky here, who's been a pain in the bloody ass. We're going to put this dude down. And then we're going to tape that shit too. So you know what, guys? Since it's a little bit wonky donkey sort of crap, I'm just going to, you know, put a piece of cardboard over this. And then that will be good. So take your cardboard. we put it over. And then we tape the shit out of it. All right, so we've got this. We're gonna swing around like this. And I guess put it down like that. And then go like this. Try and flatten it a little bit more. Shit. Alright guys, so after about 50 million years of just pulling apart tape, we finally got our Funko Pops flattened, packed, and now they just need to get shipped. So, this took a long time, as you can probably tell by my struggles. It's finally done. That's good water from Coles. Remember that. Alright, so... Pretty much what I'm going to do is take this into the post office and see if they can put it in a decently good sized envelope so I can send it off to my guy to get signed. But as my first attempt, I wasn't sure if it would work out or not, but it looks like it did pretty well. Um, yeah, 
This was my how to flatten Funko Pops to send off to signings video. I don't know what to call this yet. But remember kids, drink water, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of your damn day. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed what you were seeing, comment something down below, give the video a like, maybe even share the video. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves a bloody good day and I'll see you in the next video.